Let's solve this word problem together. A patient requires 55 milligrams of medication per kilogram. The patient's weight is 160 pounds. The medicine is available in grams. How many grams must be given to the patient? First, let's circle what we must find. We need to find grams. So circle grams. Now, let's list what we are given in this problem. We are given a patient's weight, 160 pounds. Let's write it down. Very good. What else we are given here? We are given the dosage, 55 milligrams per one kilogram. Very good. You see, our person's weight is in pounds. So we need to have a connection between pounds and kilograms. Let's write it down. One kilogram is equal to 2.2 pounds. Very good. You see, this wasn't given in the problem. We had to come up with it ourselves. So what else can we write here? We need to find grams, but the dosage is in milligrams. So let's write the connection between grams and milligrams. So one gram is equal to a thousand milligrams. And I think we have all we need. So what we need to do is to change pounds to grams. This is going to be our path. Let's see how we will get there. Write what we have as a fraction. We have 160 pounds. Write it over one and prepare to multiply. First, we are going to change pounds to kilograms because the dosage is in kilograms. So first, we are going to change to kilograms. We are going to take this conversion factor. One kilogram is equal to 2.2 pounds and plug it in in such a way to get rid of pounds and be left with kilograms. So prepare to multiply. Our pounds are in the numerator on top. So we will put pounds on the bottom in the denominator and we will put kilograms on top in the numerator. You see pounds cancel out and we are left with kilograms. So we set it up correctly. Now let's plug in the numbers from this conversion factor. One kilogram will go on top in the numerator and 2.2 pounds will go in the denominator. Pounds canceled out and we are left with kilogram with kilograms. Very good. Now let's keep moving because we need to get to grams. We are given this dosage, 55 milligrams per kilogram. This is what we are going to plug in next. We are going to take this conversion factor and plug it in right here in such a way to get rid of kilograms and be left with milligrams. We have kilograms on top, so we will put kilograms on the bottom in the denominator so that they cancel out and we will put milligrams on top in the numerator. So kilograms cancel out and we are left with milligrams. So we set it up correctly. Now let's plug in the numbers. One kilogram will go in the denominator and 55 milligrams will go in the numerator. Very good. Kilograms canceled out and we are left with milligrams. But do not stop because in this problem we need to find grams. So let's do one more step. So you see we started with pounds, we changed to kilograms, then we changed to milligrams and now we are going to change to grams exactly what we need to find. So we are going to take this conversion factor, one gram is equal to a thousand milligrams and plug it in in such a way to get rid of milligrams and be left with grams. Our milligrams are in the numerator. So we will put milligrams in the denominator and grams in the numerator. So milligrams cancel canceled out and we are left with grams. Now let's plug in the numbers from the conversion factor. One gram will go in the numerator and a thousand milligrams will go in the denominator. Milligrams canceled out and we are left with grams. It's exactly what we need to find in this problem. Now let's do the math. Basically, we are multiplying fractions here. How do we multiply fractions? First, we multiply the numbers in the numerator. Then we multiply the numbers in the denominators. Right? So draw a fraction bar and let's go and pick up all the numbers in the numerators. So 160 times 1 times 55 times 1 and we will have grams on top. 
Very good. Now let's pick up the numbers in the denominators. 1 times 2.2 times 1 times 1,000. Very good. Now we are going to multiply the numbers on top. 160 times 55 will be 8,800 grams. Over. When we multiply the numbers in the denominator, 2.2 times 1,000 will be 2,200. Very good. Now, 8,800 divided by 2,200, we will have 4 grams. So we found how many grams we need to give to the patient. It is 4 grams. I hope this is helpful. If you get frustrated with conversions, do not give up. Just take a break and come back later. I hope to see you next time. Keep up the good work.